Today, I'm going to give you seven tips to survive your college math courses. Tip number one, change your mindset. You're already thinking that this math course is going to be hard. You're already thinking that it's going to be boring, right? Well, I can compare your math class that you're taking this semester to a race. When we watch people run races, they don't run with carrying weights. They don't run with ankle weights and carrying these barbells and as they're running the race, right? That would be silly. And when you don't change your mindset, you're actually running this math race with a bunch of weights on you. You're making this course a lot harder than it's gonna be. So change your mindset, get those weights off of you. You know, go into this class saying, you know what, this math, content is not going to conquer me. I'm going to conquer it. And even though you may not like it, change your mindset. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to dive deep in this math. I'm going to tackle these problems and I'm not going to let it get the best of me. Tip number 2. Live in the present. When you are in your math class, separate yourself from your cell phone. Turn it off. Put it on Do Not Disturb. Because when you're just checking your cell phone really quickly and you get a text message that kind of um, really gets your mind off what you're doing, right? It's going to rob you of the next um, minutes of your time in class. You're going to be thinking about that text message, right? instead of looking at what you're supposed to be learning in the moment. So separate yourself from your devices. Separate yourself from your devices. Now COVID has really changed the way um, notes are being delivered in higher ed. So if your notes are, if you have your notes, then you've got your laptop open. Um, use some kind of program that you can write on top of your notes, okay? Or if you wanna print out your notes and you have them in your notebook, you need to be engaged with the notes, and this is gonna help you in um, staying focused on the math content, and it's gonna keep you engaged. So add to those notes. Make your notes meaningful to you. There may be something that the professor says that's not in the notes that really, um, can that you can really get a grasp on that concept, and so you wanna add that to your notes. But be engaged with those notes. Be writing in those notes. Um, if it's on your iPad, whatever, on paper, pencil, be engaged because that's going to help you stay in the moment. The last thing you want to do is to be in a math class and you're just physically there and you're just there in body and that's it. You're not there mentally. You're not engaged with the content. Um, and so get engaged. Um, and that's going to prevent you from, if you have your laptop open, from you know resisting the urge of clicking open another tab and getting off of off your subject at hand. Tip number three, make a friend. Make a friend in the class. Who are you sitting around? Um, this is going to help you with accountability, right? Y'all going to keep each other accountable uh, with coming to class, with helping each other, helping each other in the right way, right? Um, you're helping each other work problems. You're not doing uh, the other person's problems for them. That's not help. That's not what I'm talking about. But, you know, make a friend in the class, and that's also going to make your time in class more enjoyable, right? That's, that's that changing the mindset that I'm talking about. Tip number four, ask for help. If you don't feel comfortable in asking a question in the middle of class, Go up to your professor after class and ask the question. We professors love for students to ask questions. Um, and if there's more questions that you have, visit your professor during their office hours. So your office hours, the professor will uh, announce when their office hours are the first day of class. So pay attention to when those office hours are. And don't hesitate to email your professor to get help on a particular problem. 
Find out where tutoring is on campus and take advantage of that. Uh, we are living in an age and when help is all around us. So look up YouTube tutorials on, on the content at hand. You need to know the name of the type of problem that you're looking up. So usually that's in your notes. If you don't have it in your notes, then ask your professor. Tip number five, carve out time. Carve out time. You really need to find out when the best time will be for you to study, to get your homework done, right? And devote a, um, a specific amount of time, uh, whatever days in your week, to get that work done. And when you're studying, turn off your um, cell phone, turn off your devices, and uh, set a timer. Set that timer for however long you want to study, an hour, 30 minutes, so that that will help you stay focused in getting what you need to get done. And when you stay with your weekly schedule, your, you know, your homework schedule, kind of look at it in the week, uh, during the weekend and say, you know what, did I stick with it? And if you stuck with it, reward yourself. Find something that is worth um, working towards, okay? And reward yourself. This will help you stay disciplined and this will help you not to procrastinate. Tip number six, keep your eye on the finish line. Your finish line is your last day of that semester, okay? So you need to find out what day that is and you need to post this somewhere that you can see, whether it's in your dorm room, whether it's in the car, whether it's a screensaver on your phone, on your laptop, because this is gonna be your go-to when this math course is hard, right? You just wanna give up, you just wanna throw up your arms and quit, right? You look at that date and that date is a reminder that you know what, that's your finish line. You're in the middle of this long marathon, right? And you wanna make it there. You wanna be a strong finisher. And so looking at that finish line, looking at that date is gonna help you to keep pressing onward because this math class is not forever. It is just one semester long. And your seventh and final tip, celebrate being a strong finisher. You know, you are going to be reaching that last day of, of your class. And all of your hard work, uh, all of the times that you took in studying um, and carving out time, changing your mindset, all of these tips that you put in, you know, you put those in and you're going to be celebrating at the finish line. And if you did not put in um, all of this time and effort into this class, you know, you're at the finish line, look and see why you're not a strong finisher. Examine your why and really work on your why because you want to finish this math race and the world is waiting for your unique purpose. And when you don't finish strong in any kind of race in life, you're hanging up what you can show the world you have that only you have. If you want to check out the next class session, uh, click on the video above.